When you know what's right for you, you're on your way to being a well-being. Learn how with personalised advice from Blackmores. Hello and welcome to this week's injury update brought to you by Blackmores. After reviewing Monday's loss to Melbourne, the playing list is now on a mid-season break leading into the bye this weekend. The bye will give plenty of guys a chance to refresh. We were lucky enough not to have any new injuries coming out of the weekend's games. Isn't that just like us? We've got a bye coming and no new injuries, but that's us. Uh, Scotty Pendlebury, there's uh, been a lot of talk about the ice that he had on his ankle. Uh, fortunately, he's fine. Um, if we had to report on everyone who had ice, this would be a much longer report, but uh, Scotty's fine, so he just got someone treading on him, but he'll be fine. The bye gives uh, a lot of players currently on the injury list a chance to get closer to a return date to playing. Probably none who will be actually available for, for the Freo game, but we'll see how we go. Darcy's going very well. As we know, he had that uh, plate put in his, uh, in his shoulder or in his uh, collarbone. Um, he's going pretty well, but um, short term is the best I can give for him. Taylor Adams is still short term, but probably slightly longer than Darcy. We'll make sure that he's right before he comes back to play with that hammy that was quite serious. Uh, Alex Fasolo, similarly with his shoulder, will probably take a little longer than Darcy, but is uh, now uh, short to medium. Uh, Timmy Broomhead and Tommy Langdon are both coming on quite well. Uh, we've said those syndesmosis ankles do take a while, but they're going quite well. They're both running and will play uh, pretty soon, but they're both still short term. So we'll have a greater update on these names and the rest of the injury list this time next week as we approach our round 14 clash with Fremantle. See you then. <laughs>